In the middle of the night, a strange man exited the car. When he smelled the smell of living people in the air, he instantly opened his two-meter-long mouth and roared madly. His arms and legs also became longer. This looks like a giant spider. The crowd saw the scene and unceremoniously started shooting at him, and the creature was instantly shot into a sieve. This guy became this way because God lost faith in humanity and sent an army of angels to feed on their sinful souls. Just last night, Michael with wings fell from the sky. Immediately afterward, he chopped off his wings. With the fall of his collar, he was free from God's control. He went to the warehouse next door and treated his wounds briefly. Then, he collected a large number of weapons. Hearing the explosion, two police officers arrived. But just as the police approached, Michael grabbed their guns. At that moment, the other police officer had a strange appearance, as if he was possessed by something, only to see his pupils blackened and become hollow beyond recognition, and his teeth changed. He pulled out his gun and killed his colleague. Michael used his nimble body to kill him back. Strange things are still happening. In the middle of the desert, a kindly older woman enters a restaurant and orders a bloodied steak. The smell of blood immediately attracts disgusting flies. But the older woman seems to ignore it and eats it with gusto. She kept attacking the people around her with words. And the man next to her immediately got up to argue with her. But the old lady opened her bloody mouth and bit off a big piece of his flesh. The crowd was terrified by this frightening scene. This old lady is not a normal human. The chef hurriedly threw a pan to launch a long-range attack and hit her on the head. But the old lady did not take it seriously but jumped to the wall. In an extremely strange posture in the ceiling. To crawl quickly. This agile body does not look like an older man at all. In a panic, the restaurant owner shot with a shotgun. He was instead slapped by the old lady. In her eyes, these people are much more delicious than steak. With open mouths and rushing toward people. In the moment of crisis, Hansen could not pull the trigger. Only three shots were heard, and the old lady fell to the ground. It turned out that Kyle had pulled out his gun to help. The group was instantly stunned by the sudden situation. The man on the ground was still bleeding. The situation was urgent. They had to get him to the hospital as soon as possible. But they hadn't gone far when a massive sandstorm appeared in the sky ahead. At that moment, a fly got into the car. Everyone instantly understood that what was in front of them was not a sandstorm but an army of flies. The crowd vomits this meal of flies. Everyone suddenly remembered that the old lady's body was still in the restaurant. Strangely enough, her body was still warm. The group rushed to move her outside to prevent people from finding her. Coincidentally, a police car suddenly arrived outside the door. Michael, the angel with broken wings, got out of the car. After the horror of what just happened, the boss immediately put up his shotgun and asked to see his teeth. Luckily they didn't find Michael with the same sharp teeth as the old lady. A few people finally breathed a sigh of relief. Looking at the body bag on the side, Michael instantly understood everything. He immediately opened the trunk. It was like an arsenal. And instantly everyone was fully armed. Michael tells them that there will only be more people like the old lady. Now they must guard the restaurant desperately. Soon, night falls. And several people are armed and ready to meet the monster. In the dead of night, the Spider-Man arrives as promised. But it doesn't end there. Tonight is also destined to be a sleepless night. Bigger trouble was approaching them. A caravan with no visible head is methodically approaching the restaurant. They hurriedly grabbed their weapons and fired. Frantic strafing didn't stop the convoy from moving forward. And the number of monsters too outrageous. A time cannot be eliminated. There were even older adults and children among them. Kyle couldn't bear him to stop shooting. But Michael told him that these humans had lost their souls and were now just walking corpses and that if they didn't want to be eaten alive, they had to shoot at them as hard as they could. But no matter how hard several people try, there are still monsters running into the house. In the melee, the man with the wounded neck was grabbed by the feet and dragged out of the room by the horrible zombies. If this continues, the restaurant will be lost. Just then, Michael picked up two machine guns and dealt a ton of damage. Only then did the zombies start to retreat backward. The crowd finally had a chance to catch their breath. Michael told everyone the origin of the monsters. Last time God used a flood to punish humanity. This time he sent thousands of angels to extract the sinful souls of humans and turn them into emotionless zombies. To achieve the purpose of making human beings kill each other. The only person who can save this disaster is the child in Charlie's belly. Looking at everyone's faces in disbelief. Michael is unwilling to explain more. He just told the crowd that more terrible things would happen next. Early the next morning, the woman heard her husband's cries for help from outside. When she came to the window, her husband, 
who had been dragged out by the zombies last night, was hanging upside down on a cross. Seeing this scene, she couldn't stand it any longer and rushed out without a second thought. It was a trap. Just as she got close, her husband exploded. Strong acidic corpse water instantly spurted, and the cook forced the woman back to the house, but his body was severely eroded, directly killed on the spot. By nightfall, a van pulls into the gas station, and it appears to be a father and son on the run. They had just finished filling up the gas tank, the zombie vehicle rushed over, and the father was hit on the spot. Seeing that the little boy in the car was about to be taken away, the kind Kyle immediately grabbed a machine gun and rushed over, he managed to get the boy back, but he never expected it was still a trap. The boy in his arms suddenly changed his style and bit him hard on the neck. The woman immediately rushed from the roof as Kyle fell to the ground, but at the critical moment, her gun was out of bullets, she had no choice but to hide in the car. The zombies soon surrounded the woman. In the nick of time, Michael came forward with two guns. Although he is a broken-winged angel, the group of zombies is still more than enough to deal with. He ignites the gas gun and turns on the barbecue mode, successfully dispersing the zombies. They jumped into the house at the moment of the vehicle explosion. However, the crisis did not lift. The little boy did not know when to enter the room. His target was clear, Charlie's baby in the womb. In a panic, Charlie used the plate to ward off the fatal blow. At that moment, the lights suddenly went out, leaving only a row of bloody handprints on the ceiling. The boy who selected the target fell from the sky. Michael throws the boy, and Hansen pulls the trigger to kill him. At that moment, the frightened Charlie suddenly felt a sharp pain in her abdomen. Her baby was about to be born. Hearing the baby's cries, the clouds outside were instantly overcast. A loud sound came from the sky. It was a trumpet from heaven. A large number of zombies surrounded the place directly. The selfish woman grabbed the baby and prepared to sacrifice it to live. And Michael had no choice but to kill it with a single shot. At that moment, a dazzling holy light flashed. And a man with wings walked into the house. He is the Archangel Gabriel. Without a word, the Archangel swung his sledgehammer and began to attack. His angel wings were as strong as steel and shaped like a sharp blade, blocking all the bullets while slashing the restaurant owner's stomach. Michael knew he was no match for him. So he told Hansen to take Charlie and the baby and leave first. This child is extraordinary. All the zombies outside the door actively give way to a channel. Inside the house, the ultimate showdown is about to take place. The Archangel swung his sledgehammer and attacked with his invulnerable steel wings. Under his sharp attack, Michael was slashed open by Archangel in a few moves. Michael even if seriously wounded, but also for Charlie to escape to delay the time. He used his last strength to lock his opponent's neck. The Archangel pressed the mechanism on the weapon and stabbed Michael directly through the heart. Finally, Michael fell to the ground and disappeared into countless dots of light. As the Archangel was preparing to leave, the restaurant owner lit the lighter. On the other side of the highway, the people in the car thought they had escaped danger. They never thought that the Archangel would come so quickly. Hansen and the others tried to resist, but the bullets could not harm him. In the moment of crisis, Hansen could only step on the car's gas pedal. Immediately after, he braked sharply, and although the Archangel fell out, the vehicle also overturned. The survivors just climbed out of the car, and the Archangel appeared in front of them again. On top of the cliff, Hansen was making his last stand, but with the power of mortals alone, there is no way to defeat the Angel. At this critical moment, a holy light shot out of the sky. Michael grew wings. It turns out that Michael's persistence touched God. Michael, who had returned from rebirth to full combat power, cut the stubborn Archangel to the ground with a single slash. Given their past friendship, Michael did not kill him and let him go. After a frightening night, the people who never gave up finally came to victory. Michael completed his mission and returned to where he belonged. Charlie and Hansen stood at the top of the mountains, facing the light of day, about to start a new chapter of life.